Assalomu alaykum do'stlar. Ingliz tilini kino orqali o'rganish nomli videomizni 3-epizodiga xush kelibsiz. Bugun men sizlar uchun yangi, juda ham qiziqarli kino tanlaganman. Ekraningizda ko'rib turganingizdek, kinoning nomi 13 Reasons Why, ya'ni negaligiga 13 ta sabab. Xo'p, tarjimasi aniqroq bo'lishi uchun ozgina, xo'p, kinoning nomi haqida gapirib beraman. Kinoning nomini bunday qo'yishiga sabab Kinoda bir qiz bo'ladi, u qiz o'zini o'zi o'ldirgan bo'ladi va o'sha qiz o'zini o'zi o'ldirishiga 13 ta sababni kassetaga yozib qoldirib ketgan bo'ladi. Shuning uchun kinoning nomi 13 reasons why, ya'ni negaligiga 13 ta sabab, ya'ni men o'zimni o'ldirganimga, nimaga o'zimni o'ldirganimga 13 ta sabab degan ma'noda. Okay, men sizlarga hozir Kinodan kichik-kichik lavhalar qo'yaman, siz esa diqqatli tinglaysiz va birgalikda tarjima qilib izohlab ketamiz va kerakli foydali iboralar, so'zlar va grammatika o'rganib boramiz. Tayyor bo'lsangiz, qani boshladik. How are you doing, sweetie? You've been on my mind. Hey, Courtney. Clay. How are you doing, sweetie? You've been on my mind. Hey, Courtney. Okay, in the Clay, how are you doing, sweetie? 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 Clay, how are You've been on my mind. You've been on my mind. Sen haqingda o'ylab yurgan edim. Hey Courtney. Hey Courtney. Salom Courtney. Xo'p, qisqacha izoh beradigan bo'lsam, you've been birikmasi, xo'p, bu yerda you have been ni qisqartirilgan shakli. Ya'ni have been bu present perfect, hozirgi tugallangan zamonni yordamchi fe'li hisoblanadi. Qani, davom etamiz. It just doesn't make sense, right? No. A lot of things don't make sense. Exactly. So true. It just doesn't make sense, right? No. A lot of things don't make sense. Exactly. So true. Okay. It just doesn't make sense, right? It just doesn't make sense, right? Bu shunchaki mantiqqa to'g'ri kelmaydi, to'g'rimi? No, a lot of things don't make sense. No, a lot of things don't make sense. Yo'q, ko'p narsalar mantiqqa to'g'ri kelmaydi. Exactly, so true. Exactly, so true. Aniq, to'g'ri, to'g'ri. Xo'p, endi bu yerda izoh beradigan bo'lsam, Xo'p, doesn't. Bu oson menimcha. Does not ni qisqartma shakli. Don't make sense. Bu ham bitta ibora, ya'ni gapni tarjima qilganimizdek, mantiqqa to'g'ri kelmaslik, ya'ni hech qanaqa ma'no anglatmaslik ma'nosida keladi. Davom etamiz. Some things, you know, just don't have simple explanations, right? Right. Yeah. Some things, you know, just don't have simple explanations, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Some things, you know, just don't have simple explanations, right? Some things, you know, just don't have simple explanations, right? Ba'zi narsalarni bilasan, shunchaki oddiy izohi bo'lmaydi, to'g'rimi? Right, yeah. To'g'ri, shunaqa. Xo'p, bu yerda don't do not ni qisqartma shakli. Menimcha, bu oson. Xo'p, davom etamiz. And you? Um How are you doing? Me? I'm fine. I'm good. And you? Um How are you doing? Me? I'm 
Fine. Good. Tarjima qilamiz. And you um how are you doing? And you um how are you doing? Sencha uh ahvollaring qanday? Me um I'm fine. Good. Me I'm fine. Good. Menmi? Men yaxshiman. Yaxshi. Xo, bu yerda and you and you and you bu senchi ma'nosida ishlatiladi. Bu juda ham ko'p ishlatiladi buni. Har qanday savol berganda, xo'p, ya'ni o'sha odamni o'zidan qaytib so'raganda, ya'ni senchi yoki sizchi demoqchi bo'lsangiz, bunda and you deb aytishingiz mumkin. Xo'p, davom etamiz. Well, I'll see you later. Uh, Clay, I think you got something that belongs to me. My keys. Oh, yeah, right. Here. I'll see you later. Right, I'll see you later. Ah, uh, Clay, I think you got something that belongs to me. My keys. Oh, yeah, right. Here. I'll see you later. Okay. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Keyin roq ko'rishamiz. Ah, Clay. I think you got something that belongs to me. Ah, uh, Clay. I think you got something that belongs to me. Ah, uh, Clay. Menimcha senda menga tegishli nimadir bor. My keys. My keys. Mening kaltlarim. Oh, right, right. I'll see you later. Oh, right, right. I'll see you later. Ah, to'g'ri, to'g'ri. Keyinroq ko'rishamiz. Deb bola ketdi. Endi izoh beradigan bo'lsam, bu yerda I'll see you later. Bu o'zbek tiliga keyinroq ko'rishamiz deb tarjima qilamiz. Aslida I'll see you later so'zma so'z tarjima qiladigan bo'lsak, bu men seni keyinroq ko'raman deb tarjima qilinadi, lekin o'zbek tilida chiroylik bitta so'z birikmasiga moslaydigan bo'lsak, bu Kinroq ko'rishamiz degan gapga to'g'ri keladi. Endi gapda that degan so'z keldi. Bu odatda murakkab gapda ishlatiladi, ya'ni bog'lovchi sifatida. Ikkita gapni bir-biriga bog'laydi. Ya'ni siz ikkita gapni birdaniga qo'shib aytadigan bo'lsangiz, shu paytda that bilan bog'lashingiz mumkin. Keyin hop bola gapirdi. You got something that belongs to me. You got something. Shu yerda got bu have got ga teng bo'lyapti. Ya'ni have got menda bor, senda yoki unda bor deb tarjima qilinadi o'zbek tiliga. Got ishlatgan sababi odatda amerikalik og'zak nutda have got o'rniga prosti got o'zini ishlatib ketadi. Davom etamiz. I'll get the first aid kit. No, I I don't need first aid. You are bleeding, you need ointment. I'll get the first aid kit. No, I I don't need first aid. You are bleeding, you need ointment. Okay, tarjima qilishda davom etamiz. I'll get the first aid kit. I'll get the first aid kit. Men birinchi yordam qutishni olib kelaman. No, I don't need first aid. No, I don't need first aid. Yo'q, menga birinchi yordam kerak emas. You are bleeding. You are bleeding. Sendan qon oqyapti. You need ointment. You need ointment. Senga marham kerak. Xo'p, bu yerda izoh beradigan bo'lsam, I'll bu I will ni qisqartirilgan shakli. Will bu kelasi zamonni yasashda ishlatiladigan yordamchi fe'l hisoblanadi. Xo'p, keyingisi first aid kit. First aid kit bu biz odatda o'zbek tilida ham aptechka deb aytamiz. Buni ma'nosi shu birinchi yordam qutichasi o'zbekchada. Mana shu shunaqa bo'ladi. Lekin biz doimo shu aptechka, aptechka deb ruscha so'ziga o'rganib qo'yganmiz. Xo'p, davom etamiz. Bunisini diqqat bilan tinglang. What is that you're listening to? It's uh, uh it's nothing. It's for history class. What is that you're listening to? It's uh, uh it's nothing. It's for history class. Okay, do'stlar. Mana bu epizodning ham oxiriga yetib keldik. 
Lekin bu oxirgisini men tarjima qilmayman, chunki endi sizning navbatingiz. Siz tarjima qilish harakat qilib ko'ring va kommentda o'z tarjimangizni albatta yozib qoldiring. Men kommentlarni o'qiyman va eng to'g'ri tarjima qilgan odamning kommentiga albatta like tugmasini bosaman. Siz o'z javobingizni keyingi yangi 4-chi epizodimizda ham to'g'ri yoki noto'g'ri ekanini tekshirib ko'rishingiz mumkin. Umid qilamanki, bu video sizlar uchun foydali bo'ldi. Agar video sizga yoqqan bo'lsa, like bosishni unutmang. Keyingi yangi videolarimizni o'tkazib yubormaslik uchun albatta kanalimizga obuna bo'ling. E'tiboringiz uchun rahmat. Right